Hello everyone, it's Leebird. Welcome back to another Leebird Reviews. Today we're talking about the new Resident Evil Village DLC. So, for this one, there's not a lot to talk about. Like, <laughs> there is not a lot to talk about about e anything I say with these Leebird Reviews. And then turn out to be 8 minutes, 5 minutes, 16 minutes, something like that. But, either way. Um, the setting is literally, it's still the same thing as Resident Evil Village, so there's nothing really to talk about that. Um, the characters, uh, look the same, uh, like they were in the, in the first, in the first one, like the Resident Evil Village story. Um, the enemies, the new ones, they, I think... They got more terrifying. They got more terrifying because the enemies in, like, the story with, like, you know, the story where you play as Ethan, the, you, uh, you fight, you know, werewolves or lichens or, uh, vampires. And that's it. Vampires and lichens. That's it. But in this one, you fight yourself. Like, zombie... Uh, kind of isk yourself as well uh you also fight these i don't know what they are i don't know what kind of creatures they are but and there's also this big guy that you fight that's also a boss fight that you uh that you fight that looks like like looks like something from scorn um and uh well yeah uh that's the enemies the boss fights or, I mean, some of them are literally the same thing. Like, Evelyn's the same thing that you fight. Uh, pfft, Mother Miranda is the same thing that you fight. Uh, I think the combat is pretty cool. Uh, I feel like, I, I like the spells that, you know, that Rose does. I love them. I love the combat. Um, well, yeah, I think, really, in the story is uh not too bad too um it was kind of sad that like you know ethan died again trying to save rose and it was pretty cool that ethan was trying to save rose the whole entire time and then lied about his name being michael but it's not it's, it's it was actually ethan it was actually his it was actually her dad and uh yeah i, th yeah, I thought it was pretty cool i thought it was pretty cool like that and uh what I think, what I think the what I think the DLC is better than Resident Evil Village. Probably not, but it was still a good DLC. Um, so actually, you know, I might just put it to an eight out of ten because even then it was even then it was like even then I liked the story much more better than it. I feel like if I added it to the same school that, as I did to the Resident Evil Village game, then you know, it would probably be perfect sense. So I put it to an 8 out of 10, the same score that I did to the Resident Evil Village uh, score. So, yeah, really, you, I, I already told you what's going to happen. I'm already recording God of War Ragnarok. I'm still kind of, I'm still trying to finish that. Uh, but for an update for the video... For God of War, I'm probably going to do two parts on it. Um, since it's a long game, I'm probably not going to do um, like one video for it. Because it's probably going to be like final three hours, two hours long um, to do so. So, that's really just... Oh, god damn it. Alright, well, I'll see you later, I guess. Since, my, since the light kind of tur just turned off for no reason. So, I'll... I'll see you, you know, I'll see you later for God of War. See ya.